it is Sunday evening in Bay City and a piece of you is back we are back to our Facebook lives and Lorena is here yay Lorena thanks um, and Sherry and Linda and Joanna and four people that I can't even see because they all came on in the same time um, and Cindy and Judy and three other people. Wow, I've never had it happen that way before. So everybody is excited. Chris and Lisa, thanks guys. Um, we are excited to be back. Um, it was nice to have a little break and I hope you guys just knit, knit, knit or crocheted, crocheted, crocheted and got rid of some stash so that you can have fun. Um, we have lots of great projects. Hey Mary and Nora and Beth, um, Liza, I do ask that as we're going along, if you guys like something, give me some hearts and some thumbs up as well as your comments on what kits you're looking at. That will help me figure out what kind of kits we want to do in the future, okay? And so if you are new, hey Francine. And Dottie, I haven't seen your name before. Welcome, um, Doreen. What we do here is every Sunday night, we, well, scheduled Sunday nights, how that, um, we do a Facebook Live and we offer kits. And the pattern, we come up with the colors, the patterns, all of that. If you need needles or notions or anything like that, just let us know and hey Cheryl and Julie good to see you guys and um, so what we ask is as we go around I'm gonna take a quick walk through and show everybody what we have Chris this is one of our kits that's what we're gonna start with when we do our thing um, I'm gonna take a quick walk around just to show everybody what we have and then we're going to go into what kit do you want and that type of thing. What we ask you to do is we ask you to put um, the kit name or yarn number and your phone number, okay? We go by tech support and we go by how it comes up on her computer. So, sorry, that's kind of our default. So, um, and as we go through a kit we will take it off the table um, so you'll kind of get an idea of what is there every once in a while we have to pause because you guys answer too quickly so hey Deb good to see you and um, so that's the scoop I am going to be kind of talking relatively loudly hopefully you guys can hear me we got a new nest thermostat and I don't I got it to give us a little air because it was stuffy in here, but now I can't get it to the fan to turn off, so it's kind of loud. So, hey Mary, good to see you. Hopefully we have some, some kits for you too. It is a beautiful day in Bay City today, and I know I was knitting on a project that hopefully, um, hey Leslie, hopefully will be a kit for next week. If not, we'll do it in October. Hey Sandy, I haven't seen you on one of these. Judy, good to see everybody tonight. It's so much fun. What we do then is we will call you if you have requested a kit. We will call you Monday. We start at 8.30 in the morning calling people. Hey Melissa, say hi to Zoe for us. Zoe is her cute dog with the pink tail. Um, and we'll start calling you. Um, please answer the phone if it comes in with a 989 area code. Um, there's two different phones. One's our store and the other one I can never remember, but that's the one I'm on. So I get really bummed out with when people don't answer. So there's two of us calling so we can get you guys in, get your stuff out. We do curbside pickup or we will ship it directly to you for $8 flat fee. Every once in a while you may add. Oh my gosh, the air went off. Yay, I don't have to shout. Um, every once in a while, we might add a dollar if you bought a ton or it's really bulky or something like that. Hey, Lori. Hey, Nancy. Two Nancys on that one. Hey, Beth. Thank you all for watching tonight. And let me take this and I'm going to just do a quick walk around. 
Um, oh, I am going to do this though first because I have it all turned around. And this is, I blocked it. You guys may have seen it on Saturday. This is the between transitions. Looks much better once it's blocked. It was really fun to do. We have kits here for you. Um, and that's what we're going to start with. But let me take a quick walk through. And hang on. There we go. All right. You can see where my tripod was hanging out. So we're going to start with, don't give me any kit names yet or anything like that. These are the colors for between transitions. That is what I am wearing right now. Okay, so 44 would be this one and this color. But we'll go through that when I get there. Hey, Joanne, it was good to see you on Saturday. So we have 46, 47. So you would say kit 48 if that's the one you liked. I know somebody was mentioning they liked 49 and 50. I like 49 and 52. We have a bunch of um, uh, project bags today. Every time we try to add some notions or um, needles or something like that, these are cute. And hey, Janice, good to see you. We have some of those. We have a few of our local yarn store day uh, sock yarns left. Uh, we didn't sell all of them on the yesterday. Wow, it was so quick. This one is a shawl that has been on our door. See the empty hanger? This is the shawl that's on our door that everybody has been asking about. So we put it together. Peggy, the one I'm wearing is between transitions. And that's what we're going to start with after I take a walk around. Um, this one is the firefly shawl. It is a large shawl. It's made out of moonshine, which is an alpaca silk blend. So here's the front of it. You see you can, if you had shoulders, it would be um, just a nice snuggly one for this time of year. Hey, Serena, haven't seen all of you guys in so long. It feels like forever. Now, when you do firefly shawl, I am going to ask you to give me the color number. Um, don't say brown because there's a couple of browns. Don't say red. There's three reds. So when I go through, I'm going to tell you what the color numbers are. If you watch the preview, you kind of have an idea. Um, we have Sweet Georgia. We had a little bit of it left in the back room. And I found a really great pattern called the Zuka Cowl. It is a pay-for pattern on Ravelry. It is handwritten or... Um, so it's words or a chart. So you can do either one, and it looks really easy, but I think it would pair really nicely with the hat that we did a couple weeks ago. Um, I love this yarn. It's super soft and squishy. It's a super wash worsted from Sweet Georgia. We also did, we had a couple of kits left from uh, Sweet Georgia, and these are their Skein Trio sets. And these were specially done last year, I think. And they have a little bit of the um, Stellina in them, which is the little bit of fleck of glitter kind of stuff. But it's really super soft. You don't even notice it. But it just adds a little hint of something. And I have two of those. That one does come with a pattern. This is an $8.50 pattern, but it comes with your kit. Um, we made Casa Pinka's No Harm No Cowl. And you don't have to wear it over your head. We just do it that way so you can see all the different stitch patterns in it. And Marilyn made that and she said it was really super, super fun. Hey, Donna and Tammy. Now, tonight, well, tomorrow when we call you, um, is the last two days to order the Lopey Blankets. And they are in a project kits under Lopey Blankets. Um, there's 27 different ones. They are not something that you knit they come already made. See, they're woven. They're really pretty. They're super soft and squishy. Um, and they're really nice. They're lightweight, Icelandic wool, all that good stuff. Um, there's 20 different, seven different colors. So look on our website after this broadcast and check them out. Um, one of the, the last thing we have, it may not be in this order, um, is... 
well, Judy, you're okay because we're just going through the the colors and stuff. We haven't started yet, so you're good. Um, is we are doing shepherd's wool crazies, and we have a million different crazy combinations. We put them together in coordinating but contrasting colors, and you can either make the 100X cowl, which is a free one. It's a tube that you're going to Kitchener stitch together, and um, I'm going to give you some insights when we get there about that one because mine was super, super long and super thick, so um, I wouldn't want to ever do it that big again. Um, hey, Nancy. Hey, Gracie. Um, but we were really looking at doing the shift cowl, and that one is done flat, and then you sew it together. There's like four inches to sew in the back. So when we get around to that, we will um, go from there. But I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what we are going to be doing. Looks like we have a ton of... Do we have my piece of paper anywhere? No, it but should I'm be getting kicked off. So okay. Nope, that's not it. Um, we're going to have to bear with us. We're having internet issues. And... It's a half a piece, folded in half. I'm having technical difficulties myself. I can't remember. Oh, I found it. I got it. I have my cheat sheet, and so I know what to tell you guys and everything. Um, and then everybody who orders from this Facebook Live is going to get a mini soak in their um, package. And we can't wait to see, you know, we just thought we'd share the fun, celebrate local yarn store day with you guys and all that. Hey, Brenda, good to see you from South Dakota. I hope it's warm there so we warm up, maybe. I kind of like this nice weather we're having. So, um, okay, the first one we're going to start is the one I'm wearing, and that is the Between Transitions, okay? If you guys got this yesterday, we don't have to worry about the pattern. Um, it was $2.99 yesterday. I believe it is now $6. We are happy to help you out with that. Oh my goodness, it is 85 degrees. Um, so, so we are going to go through these. This is a written, you can take a 43 off. 49. Um, so here is 41. I'll pull one off for Marilyn. I got it on the floor. Um, it is this, it's, it is basically what I'm wearing. So it is um, this color and the white. 42 is this really pretty color. And it's kind of a stone color. I think that one's really pretty. Um, how many 43s do you have? Do you have uh, Deb Wiesner? I'm working on it. No, I'm at Deb Wilson right now. Okay. We're going to be a little slow because they keep throwing us off. So, take a 49. Now, yeah, I know. Um, and I threw one back here. Did you get it? Yeah, you got it. Okay. Um... I had to get a whole new router, all that fancy stuff, hang out with Linksys and Spectrum and everybody and his brother this week. So, um, grab a 46, Marilyn. Don't worry about it. Just throw them in because we'll have to organize them anyways. Yes, Linda, we will call you later any particular time. Grab me a 49. Um, now, the one thing I am going to tell you guys, the designer told me it was two colors, so I did mine in two colors, okay? Um, then she came out and said, oh, it's really supposed to be three colors. Well, I was already done with mine, so. I need to know which number. 
Uh, oh, you want to know a cost. Let me tell you the cost. Hang on. These are $33 plus the pattern. I used a US 9 circular 32 inch. The one on the pattern, she used an 11, a US 11. And these are $33. I got okay. Um, Barb LeBeau, we need to know which one you want. You gave us your phone number, but we don't know which project you're looking for. It is a worsted weight yarn. It's $33. Okay, my comments are 44. Very pretty. I haven't even got around to the table. 44 is this one in the purple. Um, I tried to pick ones that would be contrasting but coordinating. 45 is the purple with this really pretty green. Um, now, tech support will give you a little thumbs up on your comment if she knows which, if she's caught which one you're doing. 46 is this neutrals with the, the brown. 47 is the neutrals with the black, which I think it would still be really pretty. And 48 is the neutrals with the white. The white is what I used on mine. Um, 49, I have one left. If you want to make a bigger shawl, I'm happy to help you pick, pick a complementary color. That's the word I'm looking for. And then 50 is navy with this fun I didn't mean to do it in all caps. Oh. <laughs> but I did. <laughs> Brent, Barbara, we didn't mean to do it in in all caps, but we did. So we need to know which one you're looking for. Um, 48. That's my favorite. That's the one Marilyn bought. Yeah, I got Diamond Dream Converted to 46. Yep. Deb Willard with a 48. Okay. I can't. Oh, the one after that? I don't know which one you're looking for. Which one? The one after what? Forty-nine. Forty. Oh, come on. Doesn't Willard wants to read hers, but uh, Deb Willard is forty-eight. Did it knock you out completely? I've been in and out. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Uh, Ed Lawrence, 48, I need a phone number. Uh, that's Leslie Lawrence. We need a phone number for you. Yes. She got the last 49. Now I do have a few skeins left, but not a lot. Uh, Mary Drayton, you got the last one. Brenda, did you want grays? So she got grays. Is 46 grays? Yes. Yes, you got grays. 46 was grays and brown. Do you want 50? Hey, Serena, we will try and call you tomorrow, so you, before 2.30. The pattern name is Between Transitions. Yeah, anybody who wants a third color, just we will work with you. Okay, I have, I have tons and tons while we're letting tech support catch up. We have tons of different colors of ultra alpaca, so we should be able to find you a third color. I don't see an issue with that. So it was a really, really fun project. It took me, I started it on Tuesday and I was finished on, well, I wore it on Saturday. So my ends weren't in, but they're still not all in. Linda Yinger got 49. Linda Yinger, you got 49. You got one of the special 49s. Um, 
because we're doing our best because she's working off her phone and Lois, the Firefly shawl is 115 and it's five skeins of yarn and we will be doing that one shortly. So, hey Deb, I have 41 left, which is the one I'm wearing. So it's this one with the white creamy color. I have 42 which I think is really pretty. I would have made that one because I had that one in my stash too. 47. And that is with like a stone color, which I think is really pretty. 43 is that yarn with the Merlot. I like that one. Linda, we got you 47. 44 is just funs, purples and greens with a purple. 45 is purples and greens with a green. Deb, good to see you. Um, 46 is the neutrals with the brown. You can. Let me finish going through what we have left. 47 is the neutrals with black. 48 is the neutrals with cream. And 50 is the party in a box with navy. And if I can do this right and not show you my feet or the ceiling. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I could do it that way. Hang on, let's see if we can do it this way. This is, this is, I'm gonna use the mirror. <laughs> so this is the shawl. It is quite big. I'm not very big. I don't, I don't wear these shawls this way very well. So, um, oh, I have to get a little closer, okay. But it's really pretty. You just reverse colors every so often. Um, you have colors one and two. And um, it's, it's comfortable. It's really nice once you block it. I am gonna suggest blocking it, but it was a really easy block. I will also tell you that this yarn may bleed, but it didn't adjust. Um, mine bled a lot of blue, but the white didn't pick up any of it. So I was fine. So don't freak out in, when you go to black it. So, Pat, did you pick a color? Um, here's 41. These are 33 plus the pattern. If you guys already got the pattern, then no big deal. We can also get it for you. If you need me to print it out, I'm happy to do that for you, too. I have 41, which is the one I'm wearing. 42. 43. You have 143 left? Yeah. We thought you said somebody had 43. Oh. I have three 44s, three 45s. And remember, we can always add an extra color to these. So um, 46 is the neutrals and the browns. Is that one? Yeah. one. 47, I have two. Neutrals in the black. 48, I have one, which is neutrals, and the white, the creamy color. And I want to call 50 as party in a box. Um, I might actually, if there's any of this left, I might make one of these myself because I think it's really cool. I didn't have one of these in my stash. So we were waiting for the yarn to come in, and it finally arrived, and that's with navy. What we do do is once we're done with going through all the kits, we go back to what's left. So Barb Lebeau, we never heard back to you um, on which kit you were looking for. So if you can let me know, 43 for Chris Faust. So 43 is gone. All right, so now we're going to move over, and if anybody else has internet issues, you can always message us. Um, you can always message us your phone number, too. That is fine. Um, we'll be calling Charter tomorrow. Um, this one is... I didn't write anything on it. Perfect. This is the Firefly Shawl. It is a $6 pattern on Ravelry. It is a chart. Um, I am going to tell you that. Um, 
The other shawl that we just finished on it was Between Transitions from Cynthia Spencer. It was for local yarn store day. Hey Barb, hey Roxanne. Between Transitions. Um, this one is Firefly and I'm getting up close to it. Um, it does have bobbles. You don't necessarily have to put them in. Um, these were three stitch bobbles. We did two stitch bobbles. So um, they can be more pronounced in the pattern they actually are. The pattern uses any weight of yarn. You could do fingering, you could do DK, you could do worsted. We decided, I know I did try that color catcher. Barb LeBeau wants 46, 47, or 48. And... Four. Yeah, what do we have left? We got 146, 148, We have all three of those left, Barb LeBeau, so you tell us which one you'd like. She wants my favorite. I know she does. She wants a third color added, so. <laughs> Deborah Wilkening wants... Oh, okay. Hold that thought. Mm -hmm. Nine. When I get to nine, just tell me it's gone. Marcy. Yeah. So I throw it. What we did here is we put, you're going to get five skeins of yarn. We only put one per kit on the table because it would have taken up the whole table. You will get five skeins of yarn. So Deb Gerard was looking for 50. So this one is 52, 52, and these kits are 115 plus the pattern. Um, this one is 52. It's kind of an olive -y kind of color. It's one of those real good neutrals that goes with anything. Um, this one is color two. Uh, 48. 48. Give her oh, 40. She didn't want that no, somebody else just grabbed 48. Oh, okay. This one is this pretty brown. If you like brown, 37 is really pretty. Oh, Deb Gerard wanted 50 on the first cowl. We got you, Deb. Yeah. Perfect. The gray is first choice. Yeah, we got that part, but what was your second choice for color? Gray or or black or white? We gave you brown or black. You have a choice. Okay, I have 65, which was kind of this champagne color. Um, 13 is this really pretty green. I really like this color. This one is 13. I have two of these kits. We are doing the Firefly Shawl. You will get five skeins of yarn in your package. This one is 45 and it's kind of a real light tan. This one is 57. It's kind of a lime, but I wouldn't say it's a super bright. Um, I am going to tell you the color that the model is made in is sold out. It sold out last week, unfortunately, so we couldn't make a kit out of it. Um, color four is this really pretty, like, seafoam color. That's color four. I have three of those. Sixteen is this pretty gray. This is pretty. It's got a lot of depth in it. Um... 36. Ooh, the colors are turning out really pretty on the phone tonight. 36 is this pretty blue. I have two of these. It's really pretty. It's a brand new color for us. Uh, 38 is one of our three reds that we have tonight. We have 138. This one is like the medium red. I have... This real pretty turquoise, and it is showing up, I guess, a little turquoisey. This one is color 9, so if you like these, give me the color number. This one, this dove color is 01. I have two of these. 
41. It's a little darker than the first red that we did. This one's kind of, I think this one's called Merlot. 41. Um, this one is 59. It's a pretty, pretty blue. Um, 62 is a brand new color. Isn't that fun? I know, I haven't seen anything either. Can somebody give us a heart or a thumbs up or something? Because we think we're frozen. Anybody? Lorena, can you give me a heart? Thank you. There we go. Okay. okay, we just wanted to make sure we were still live. Um, 46 is this pretty pink. And it is, I don't even like pink, and this is a pretty pink. Um, and this is a great lavender, 47, I have one of those, and then this is the brighter red, this one is color 8, so if I put it with the other reds, it's more of a true red. And then this one is my favorite color, this one is 35, and I think it just looks really rich and pretty. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Deb. And the last color we have is 27. Um, Moonshine is a wonderful yarn. It is from Juniper Moon, and it is a baby alpaca wool and silk blend. Um, super soft. We make a ton of um, sweaters, and we did our Zoe hat in this yarn. Um, each skein is 40% alpaca, 40% wool, 20% silk. They are hand, um, they are hand dyed, and um, they are going to be, I don't know what color it is, 45, we got it. Ooh, you got the one, good job. Pardon me? No. A nine? Yep. Okay, got a nine. Perfect, sorry. I hate, I forget that I have the phone in my hand and so it goes flying. Um, this is a great yarn and we love this yarn and we love Juniper Moon anyways. So we love this yarn. So I have 52. I have two, which is this cream color. The brown is 37. The, this green, which is different than the other green, I'm going to take it over here and show you. It's more of a blue green, and it is color 13. I have color 57, uh, which is this green. I have four, which is kind of this sea foamy color. It's really pretty in person. 16 is the charcoal gray. 36, I love this color. It's kind of a denim meets, it's kind of a maritime blue. How's that? 36. Um, 38 is one of our reds. Um, nine is one of the turquoise. It's a little more green. I can never get that one on the phone in the right color. This one is color one and it's gray. 41 is Merlot. 59 is blue. It's a pretty light blue and it doesn't look too baby or anything like that. 62. Now you don't have to make the Firefly shawl. Um, you're going to be getting, each skein has 197 yards. So that's a just under a thousand yards. Um, some of these I may have an extra skein or two. I won't promise, but some of them I do. Um, so if you're thinking you want to make a sweater or something like that. 46 is this pink. 47 is the lavender. 8 is the true red. 35 is my favorite color, this real pretty fall green. And then 27 is this little bit brighter gray. 
So if I put the two grays together, this one is 27. The lighter one is. So those are our firefly shawls. What we do is when we call you, we'll let you know if there's anything left over. Also, we do, um, once we have called everyone who has reserved something, we will put them on our website and they'll be there. Some things are there for a while. Some things are only there for about a week because Susan comes up with something else that they want to be made with. So, Marilyn, do you want to take the shawl off the mannequin? I'm going to have you wrap it around you so you can see what someone in with shoulders. But it's, at least in Michigan, it is supposed to be, now do a little twirl for us. In Michigan, it's supposed to be freezing cold this winter. You're going to want one of these to wrap around in you. It's so soft. Marilyn is loving this shawl. It may not make it home. <laughs> so Joyce might have a problem, but yeah, so it's really nice. <laughs> we do have shawl pins if you want a shawl pin. Um, so isn't it pretty, Deb? I think you need to make one of these. You just have to figure out what color you're looking for. And if you want to give me, you know, I'm looking for greens, I can put the greens all together and we can figure out what color you're looking for a neutral, something like that. Um, and it is a discounted price. Uh, most of these are $23 a piece and you're getting um, five of them. So um, it's a beautiful, beautiful project. So, all right. We're going to move to Zuka Cowl, and this one is fun. These are, okay, I put my piece of paper somewhere. I got it. Okay, Zuka Cowl. These are $24 each, and hey, Pam, good to see you. Um, we suggest the Zuka Cowl. Um, we did, last time we used this yarn, we did the October hat, which was this pretty cabled one. We can do the October hat again if you missed it or if you decided you really love the pattern. Um, it is the same yarn, we just sold out of that color. So, um, the Zuka Cowl is a pay-for pattern on Ravelry. Um, the... Zuka Cowl calls for one and a half skeins, okay? Um, it's super tall, and I thought one would be just perfect um, because we don't need that much around our neck. So it is using a US 6 and 7 circular 24 inch. This yarn is 100% superwash merino. If you want it that tall, just buy two kits. Um, but they were 28, they're on sale for 24. And is the October hat a slouch? No, it's a small mannequin. Our mannequin heads are like micro heads, okay? We actually get them from the beauty school down the street. So um, it's not really a slouch, it's a beanie hat. Um, so what colors do I have? I have evening, which is really pretty. I love these colors. Um, and all of these, I think you're going to see the cables. I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest this pattern if I didn't think it was going to work. So this one is evening. This one is lupine, which is shades of purple. Um, this one is shadow, which looks really pretty when it's knit up. It's got shade, different shades of purples and reds kind of like and some greens in there really pretty when it's knit up and then our last one we have is watershed and it looks kind of like um denim so it does have different shades obviously you don't have to make the hat or the cowl you can make something else it's a worsted weight um it is suggesting a 
size seven to nine needle. And there are 100, 200 yards in each skein. It's 100% superwash worsted. Watershed. Good job, Cheryl. I was wondering when you would come. Uh, two shadows. I love throwing over my shoulder at Marilyn. <laughs> evening and a shadow. Two evening. Evening is almost gone. Um, and just remind me, write yourself a note if you wanted a particular pattern, um, cause tech support's working off her phone and sometimes she can't read all of that. Shadow. And remember, if she gives you a thumbs up on your comment, that means she's recorded it. Just because I am shouting over my head doesn't mean that, um, you have it. Blues. Would you like one of these, Brenda? This one's pretty. That one is called Watershed. This one is Shadow. Very pretty. I love this Sweet Georgia yarns. This one is Lupine. I'm surprised no one's gone for this one. It's really, really pretty. Um, you can't hear. Can everybody else not hear? Which blues? Uh, Watershed. The 49, the 49's gone, 49 is gone, Cheryl. Yes, Stephanie, I will try and remember that. If you could message me later today. Um, okay, everybody can hear me. I have one left of evening. Oh, it even looks. Watershed. Sorry, and we have to shout here because tech support is behind our our um, sneeze shield, and so she can't hear us very well. But I'm glad everybody else can hear us. Oh, Brenda's at a football game. No wonder she can't hear us. Well, thanks for participating. Oh, Cheryl, you did get a 49. We double-checked. Cheryl Lockhart, you got a 49. So I have four watersheds left. I have one shadow. I have a few lupines. And I have one evening. No, no we got it. Tech support's a little slow tonight. Yeah, we had, uh, we, you know, we took a few weeks off. We're out of practice now, guys. Yeah, and I'm looking at my phone. And she's looking on her phone. Now she's getting gripey and whiny and all that good stuff. <laughs> so, um, so if we have any of these left, be, um, tomorrow when we call, you can always ask us if we have these. If you think about it, you are like, oh my gosh, I have to have one of those yarns hopefully we'll have it left um and okay we're gonna move to the skein trios i have two colors i have wassell Ooh, that's a fun name so that one is kind of a navy a marine a silver and an elderberry um and she was sell for Deb Wilkening. Um, and I also have, this is the one our sample is made. Barb LeBeau, yes, that's the one I think you got, Barb, was brown. Um, this one is Spice Berries. And it is our sample. Marine silver, so that is Chris got Wassell. Okay. Yes. Leslie Lawrence would like spice berries. Um, this one comes with the Miss Raw pattern, which is really pretty. It has a little lace section in the middle. Um, Brenda has the spice berries. Sherry Barrett has the spice berries. 
The name of the cowl that we did was No Harm, No Cowl. It is a pay-for pattern on Ravelry, and it was $7. Um, that's our sample. We have one of each left. It is a fingering weight. The pattern, the No Harm, No Cowl pattern calls for a DK weight. We just went down a needle and it was fine. These are, uh, let's see, these were 59, they're on sale for 50. $50 for the kit. You get three half skeins of Sweet Georgia, um, Tough Love Sock. Um, if you do wind up using these for socks, do not use the um, glitter one for your feet part, foot part. Sold. H. What's an H? Oh, we're not there yet. Uh, Deb, you are just on top of it. You want H if your life depended on it. We'll be over there in just a second. We'll grab it for you. Um, can you, did you want H, Deb? So I have two of these left. It comes with this pattern here. I have a better version on our website. If there's any left, you'll see it. Um, it does have a lace section in the middle. Um, or you can do the no harm, no cowl, cowl. And you don't have to wear it over your head. We just did that because our mannequin heads don't have necks, so... Um, you know, you got to work with what you have. So we have one with cell, which is the navy gray and elderberry. And we have one of the spice berries. So if you can, oh, did you already grab an H? Oh, good. Oh, Marilyn's right on top of things. Okay. While we're letting people think about those two kits, we have two left. They might not make it till the morning. Um, remember to look at on our website and check out our Lopi blankets. There's pictures of each one there. They're $199.99. They will um, uh, they will come the end of October, beginning of November. They are already made. You do not have to knit any of it. Um, they are beautiful in person. If you were in our shop, you saw them. Everybody went, ooh, that's really pretty. And there is no knitting re required for these blankets. Everybody thinks they have to knit them, and it's like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? No, there's no knitting required. You get to take a little break. So... <laughs> Tech support's getting really whiny over there. Um, okay, now we are going to do um, the shift in crazies. Now, a lot of you may have seen the shift in spin cycle. Did you know that Shepherd's Wool produces spin cycle also? Um, and H, we already got you, Deb. That was a different Deb. So you want X. We gotcha. A. And O. And I'm moving the phone. Um, o. You can... O. Did you say O? I did say O. I didn't know if you were saying O, O. Oh, and Patty, I have a pink one in W. Look at all those fun pink colors. S also has a lot of pinks. We thought of the pink people. Um, and the Firefly Shawl had a pink also. So we were thinking about you guys. So these are the colors that I have. Okay. When you do, she wants a W. Um, when you do the shift. Oh, oh, how much are these? Oh, uh, A is gone, Linda. L. Um, and they you're getting three skeins of crazies you're going to work it on a us5 24 inch this is 100 percent fine wool it's a sport weight and it is um really soft really squishy um 
I really don't even have to say anything because everybody's mentioning their letters. Um, Z. Um, it is a hand wash. It is not picky. It's super soft and squishy. What it is is it's basically mill ends is what they do. So you will never get two of the same exact skeins in a shepherd's wool crazy because there are leftovers. She wants the pink firefly. Okay, D. Perfect. Um, we pulled it. Okay, so I have, this is what I have left, potentially. I have C. I have G. Scarf of the right. I had my U. I don't know what U is. I don't have a U. Um, uh, it is a whole variety of leftovers. So it would be three skeins of um, these. So um, I can't really explain it. So what happens with the crazies is you're going to get a lot of something, a little bit of something, a medium amount of something. They're crazies. They just have no rhyme or reason. So I think I still had C, K. These are $40. They're on sale for $40. J, M. Oh, we have a K? I th oh, yeah, K, I said that. Oh, I got them out of order. J, K. Oh, here's C. C is gone. All right. So I have J, which looks like a T because my label folded over. I have J. I have K. These are one-of-a-kind kits. You will never find anyone who has a project that looks like yours. K. I have P. I have P. That one's fun. I have R, if you don't want a lot going on. I have S. I got knocked off. Kathy Dugan got M. Kathy Dugan, you got M. Kathy Thomas, you need to pick a different one because M is gone. And Kathy Dugan, I need a phone number. Kathy Dugan, we need a phone number. Nancy Foster. Nancy Foster got P. This is R. I have, uh, let's bring them all down here. I have T, I have Y, this one's Y. Kathy Thomas, we need you to pick a different color. This one is T. Kathy Thomas would like R. S for Shirley. These are going fast. T for Brenda. I have two left, goodness gracious. Did we get J? You have J left, that's it. Okay, Y is already gone. <laughs> so I have poor, lonely little J. He's here. He's got a lot of colors in it, though. It's got some greens. It's got some blues. It's got some peach. It's got some green. It's got some gray. Um, it's got blues in here, some grays, some mustard. The other cowl it up here is called 100X. I do, I suggest doing the pattern, but I suggest casting on 60 instead of 100. If you cast on 100, your cowl will be really short and really super wide. Um, I cast on 80 and it's too much when you put it on. It doesn't look too much on um, this mannequin but it's a lot of fabric and they are gone so did mary get jay or no jay was already gone right mary, mary drayton mary drayton you got jay you got the last one so yay thank you all for participating in that part but we're not done yet okay we 
yes, it is 100x. And I would do the pattern is basically cast on 100 stitches, cast on 60. Okay. Worst case, cast on 70. Um, it will not be too narrow. You might think it is, but it won't be because there's a lot of fabric because it's double thickness and then you're going to double wrap it. And then every once in a while, if you get a color that just goes forever, just stop and start another color and then bring that color later. Like I have this gray for like ever. Um, and then I have, there's one color, here's I have a color that's like nothing. Um, and then you're going to Kitchener stitch it together. That's really not horribly hard because I can do it. So just about anyone can do it because I had never really done it before and I had to do it all on my own. So, um, but it's really pretty easy. So fun project, good kit just to, um, do as a gift or for yourself. So let us know when we call you if you need any either one of those patterns, and we're happy to help you out. We are not done yet. We still have, uh, let's see, we have local yarn store day sock yarn from Stitch Together. This is Stitch Smooth Sock. It's the one that we like from Stitch Together, which is in somewhere in Iowa that was hit by a tornado. So um, it is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 463 yards, and it is not going to stripe. It's going to spec. It's going to variegate with some speckles in it, and very pretty. And if you like, it also comes with a sticker. How fun is that? So these are, I believe, $30. One. We got you, Linda. I, this is all I have left. Um, if you do miss out on the local yarn store day, One. we did buy one. Um, another one. How many do you have? Oh, have there you go. Gone. Deb Gerard. Yep, Emma. This is the Welcome, best. Emma. Yes, we have four left. Beth has one. I just had to throw it at Marilyn. It was just so much fun. Wasn't she wasn't expecting it at all because I'd been handing them to her. So I have, th right now, I think I have three left. Yep. Um, and this is all we'll have of this local yarn store day. She just did one dye. Two at one time? No. Oh. Two left. Oh, give me one of those. Sorry. Doreen has one. And... So I have two left. We love Stitch Together. They were hit by a tornado um, uh, last month. And so we will have, as soon as it shows up here, we will have in a Facebook Live, she has a Derecho fundraiser sock yarn. We are paying retail price, and we are going to charge you the same price for the yarn. Um, and, and it's gone. And it's gone. Pat, you are the last one that got it, I believe, isn't she? Yep. Got it. So we will have that yarn coming to us. It's a really pretty color, completely different than the one I just showed you. Um, Leslie, they're all gone. Sorry. Um, and But we have some, we have the Derecho coming, and I have, I think, 16 other colors coming at the same time. So... We also are doing some project bags because they used to hang over there and I stand at the register and these were driving me nuts because they wouldn't sit on the shelf right. So I said, I'm going to give everybody a deal. So we have project bags. They're all different sizes and all different shapes and all that good stuff. Hey, Beth. Good to see you. It's okay. We still have some stuff left. I have these cute ones. We're going to have Marilyn hold them up so we can see them. This one is called Hand Wash, and it is, see, it says Hand Wash. It's a little sheep in a bathtub. This one, I would say, would be the start of a sweater. Lay flat to dry. Lay flat to dry. Got it. Um, 
The lay flat to dry would be a little bit smaller. So if we show you those two together, um, blue with green. Got it. Just throw it. Got it. Yep. So those are the two different sizes. And then we have the pink hearts. Marilyn's got a big, big job today. So we can show you the three different sizes. The pink heart one is a little bit smaller. That one is exclusive to us. So lay flat to dry. There we go. Lay flat to dry. And, oh, let me tell you. Um, hand wash, uh, uh, what is this one? Hand wash is 16. Uh, lay flat to dry is 13. And the pink hearts are 10. The... These guys here with the zippers and the printed fabric, I have one, I have two with like um, Chiquita banana on it. I have one that's like queen bee, one that's gilded cage, because there's a little bird with a um, gold cage. Those are 20. Pink heart. Pink heart and a hand wash. Got it. And these guys with the zippers and the Printed fabric are 20. Um, and then I have a couple of these left. These are called shore bags. And they have a bottom on them. They have an industrial zipper. Um, they're kind of like cotton duck. And they're good for notions or different things like that. I have two with blue. Whoops. Judy, good to see you. And then I have a couple left um, of the Spud and Chloe bags. And we're really Lay keeping Marilyn busy. Gone. Lay flat to dry is all gone? Yes. Got it. Even the one in Marilyn's hand? Uh, all the ones that are right here. Okay. Uh, Queen Bee. So we still have... Okay, we still have these three pouches and Spud and Chloe upcycles fabric. So that is that one. And it has a little drawstring. We just didn't pull it tight. Um, there. I can't do it with the phone in my hand. Um, so I still have a couple of hearts. And it's kind of a knit heart. It's cute. It's really cute. And we have hand wash. And I have the print one from Spud and Chloe. These are nice. I have fruity banana. I have two of these. These are nice. They are lined. And um, they're great for a project. I've put a couple pairs of socks in mine. Um, I've put shawls in them. You could put your whole um, shift cowl in one of those. I do have the gilded cage one because he's got a little bird and a little cage. And it's got kind of like some fleur de lis in the background there. You can kind of see it. Um, so I have hand wash. I have the hearts. I have the printed. I have the shore bags. These are nice. Um, let me open one up. So they don't have any zippers or pockets or anything like that, but they're very nice. Um, and they do stand up, which is nice too. So, and they're made with recycled materials and they're lead free and they're fully biodegradable is what the label says. I don't think I've ever read that label. And those are 13. So, shore bag in blue. Perfect. I knew once I showed it, just showed how they were, people would buy them. So, yes, exactly, Donna. Thank Christmas. Don't you guys have people in your knitting group that you need to give gifts to? Um, these cute little heart bags are just $10, and they're cute. They, they fit um, a sock. It's kind of a muslin fabric, 
and they've been hand dyed for us. The shore bag is 13. These pink hearts are 10. Um, these guys are 10. The print. The these guys are 20. They're handmade in Midland, which is the town over from us, if you're not familiar with this area. And the shore bags are 13, and the hand wash are 16. Okay, so they're, every one of them is a different price. Green shore bag. I just like to throw them. <laughs> they're fun. So, yeah, think about Christmas. These guys are just fun. They're great. The green, the what? Uh, Shirley Thompson wanted a green. Oh, Shirley, the green is gone, but I do have another blue. Two heart, Two heart bags for Deb Gerard. So I have two heart bags left? Yep. Okay. I have two of this cute little print. I have three of the hand wash. This is a little bigger bag. I like the size of it. I think it's just really nice. Hey, Michelle. Did we sell one of these? Because there's three. No, we had three. Um, I have one shore bag in blue. You know, you don't have to put knitting in it. You could put anything in it. Um, I have the gilded cage. This one here. You Tech support is a school teacher, and she said we can make it a pencil bag for your kids. A heart bag for Linda. And I just think this one is fun with a little cheetah bananas on it and watermelons and February. You guys are all going to wish you had this bag. So it is white on the inside. And so that is what we have left. I think Christmas presents. I always like it when my customers help me sell so fun so while you guys are thinking about the last couple bags let's walk through and see what we have left the between transition which is the shawl that i'm wearing i have color 41 which is the color i knit um yes exactly pat i have a kit 42 I have kit 44, which was the purple and the purple, but it, there is enough contrast. I have 45, which is the purple with the green. I have 47, which is the neutrals and the black, if you want to bring 50 over. So I have that one. And I have 50, which is party in a box. I can't believe we've only sold one, a couple of those. Because that one is just fun. Um, I have a bunch of Firefly shawls. Now, you guys have all been looking at this one. Every Facebook Live, I have somebody who says, what is the shawl on the door? And that's what this is. Kathy, we got you with 44. Um, I have 52. These are $115. There are five skeins. 50. 50. I have color two, which is this beautiful creamy color. This is color two. I have 65, which is kind of a champagne color. It's got a little hint of pink. I have 37, which is this pretty chocolate brown. I have 13, which is kind of a blue green. 57, which is kind of on the lime side. I have four, which is kind of sea foam. That's this one. I have 16, which is gray, charcoal gray. I have 36, which is kind of like a marine blue. That's what I would call it. I have this one turned over. I can't tell what the number is. 38 which is a real pretty red. I have nine, which is a turquoise, even though it's not showing up turquoise on my phone. I have one, which is called Dove, 
and it's um, more of a subtle gray. I have 41, which is this one, and it's called Merlot. I have 59, which is this pretty light blue. It looks real fresh. Uh, 62 is one of the newer colors. It's kind of a denim -y color. Patty, we got you a 46. There is one more 46 left with the pinks. 47 is lavender. Uh, no, Patty Ann had asked for it a while ago. Um, 08 is more of a brighter red. It's a true red. It's a pretty red, though. It's not orangey or anything. We have 35, which is my favorite color. It's kind of like a pine green. And then we have 27, which is a little brighter gray. It's very pretty. It's got kind of a heathery white in it. So think about those for the firefly shawl. You're going to want one of those this winter because it's supposed to be freezing cold this winter. Um, the Zuka cowl or the... Um, October hat. I have a couple colors left. I have evening. I have one of these left. These are 24 on sale for 24. I have lupine, which is this shades of purple and there's kind of like a little bit of blue in there. I have one shadow left, which is very pretty. And I have four watersheds left. So if you wanted hats or cowls, or if you want to make this cowl two pattern, you will need two skeins. So um, you could do that. I have one skein trio set, which is the Wassel, which is the marine, silver, and elderberry. Very pretty. And it comes with the Misra pattern, or you can, we're suggesting the No Harm, No Cowl because it's really cute. It's kind of a sampler cowl, very pretty. These were sock yarn. And so we just went down a size or two in needle and got it. Um, Cindy, we gotcha. And, um, yeah, because the pattern for the No Harm, No Cowl is um, for a DK, you're supposed to use a six. We did the pattern exactly the way it was. We just went down a needle size. So um, that is it. We do have a couple of bags left, in case anyone missed one. I have these two printed zipper bags. They are $20. Can she see evening again? I have one of the heart bags left. Yes. yes, one of these heart bags. Perfect gift, 10 bucks. Uh, yeah, you just put it back. Um, I have a couple of these printed ones. These are $10. This is evening, Cindy. I think you'll like that one. And I have three hand wash. Yeah. I'm checking with tech support to make sure I we threw out back as many as we were supposed to have. This is a great project size. And these are, um, you know, they're washable, all that kind of stuff. And I have one shore bag left, and that is 13, and it's blue, and it stands up all by itself. Those are a little heavier weight. Printed 10. Perfect. We gotcha. So I gave you one of those, Stephanie, because you said printed. This one is the heart. Cindy liked her choice on her color. And if you did order the between transitions, we will kind of bear with us and we'll try and figure out some. Um, if you need an extra skein. So we'll try and think about um, what might look good with that, okay? So those are what I have left. Hand wash for Kathy Dugan. Perfect, I think you're gonna like that one. It's a good size. 
And these are great bags to put in your bags. So, you know, some of us carry quite a few projects in our project bags. And that's what's nice about these is it keeps everything contained. Um, you know, your yarn isn't mingling with other yarn and all that good stuff. So, um, we're glad everyone could play with us today. We will be on again next Sunday um, at 7 p.m. with new and different kits. And if you are interested in one of the Lopi blankets, please look online tonight. Um, we have to put the order in end of day on Monday. So please uh, um, check those out. They're $199. There's no knitting or crocheting involved. They come already made from Iceland. It's kind of cool. So that's the scoop. Thanks for playing. It, when we call you, if you're thinking, oh, you know, I missed one of these bags or, or something else, um, we may or may not have them available. Okay. Can you tell me the name of the cowl pattern next to the night shift? Oh, that is called 100X. 100, the numeral, and then a space, and then X. You are going to want to um, only cast on 60 or 70 stitches instead of 100. Uh, yes, Kathy, you can pick up in the morning. We do ask that you pay for it before you pick it up. Um, I do have some pom-poms. If you can put that next to Stephanie's evening. I will see what I... I just got some in. I haven't even taken them out of the box. Um, I'm looking over there at pom-poms. I know I have a couple black ones that might be nice. I just got in some white ones. and uh, But I'll kind of look to see if there's anything else that might look really cool with that. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Mary. Um, we appreciate all of your orders, all of your watching, all of your sharing, all of that. If you send a pick with the two skeins, I'll pick two. We got shadow and evening. I'm not what? sure what pom -poms. your... She two pom -poms. She has evening and shadow. Oh, okay. Let's pull evening and shadow. This one is shadow. This one is shadow. This one is... Is that evening? Mm -hmm. Okay. They're real close to each other. Yeah, I know. So those are your two yarns. I do have a blue. I do have a green. Um, yeah, I'll uh, let me walk over here and kind of show you what I have. I have this fun green one. I have some fun blue ones. Um, I have always have white. I have... I'm thinking the green one might be mm -hmm. kind of cool. Two, blacks. two blacks. Okay. Actually, I have two navy blues. I have two blacks. You're good. Perfect. We put them in there. Um, so that's our scoop. And we will start calling you guys around 830. If you needed to be early, please, hopefully you put a little note in there. And we will go from there, and we will see you next week. We do curbside pickup. We are here Monday through Friday, 10 to 1. Bear with us. We have the door locked. You're just going to bang on it. We're going to come to you. We have to put our mask on, all that good, happy stuff. So it, we won't be there instantaneously. Um, and um, we'll start shipping out tomorrow. And they go out USPS, and we'll go from there. So thank you very much. We'll have new kits for next week. Talk to you later.